In section 2.3, we're going to look at additional earnings. So in addition to earning an hourly wage or salary, you may also earn tips, bonuses, allowances, or work premium shift. So depending on when you work, like my wife's a nurse and she works nighttime, uh, some evening shifts. So she works, uh, she goes to work at 7.30 in the night and gets back home at 7.30 in the morning. For those evening shifts, she gets paid a bit of a, a bit more than she would during the day because it's, it's kind of a more difficult shift. Um, same thing for weekend shifts. Some people get paid more. So for example, in Fort McMurray, you're paid a northern living allowance. So if you work up north, you actually get paid a bit more too because it's, it's more difficult to live up there. Usually uh, food costs a bit more and all that kind of stuff. So they, they pay you a bit more. So you get a, a northern living allowance of $1,200 per month on top of your $85,000 a year salary. <clears throat> so it says, what is your annual salary uh, with the living allowance? So I have 85,000 plus now my $1,200 living allowances per month. So I'm going to have to multiply that by how many months in a year? Well, 12. So I multiply those out. I end up getting 1,200 times 12. So for the year I get 14,400. 85,000 plus 14,400. Add it on to my original wage. So you're making $99,400. And that would be for the year. Now keep in mind, we're not looking at any taxes yet. We haven't looked at any taxes. So these are gross incomes before taxes. Now it says, what would your monthly pay be? Well, what do I have to do with that 99,000? That should be 400, not nine. What should I do with the 99,400 if I'm trying to figure out my monthly pay and this is per year? Yeah, divide by 12, right? So I divide by 12 to figure out what I'm getting paid gross per month. So 8,283 and 33, 8,283 and 33 cents. And that's per month. That is a lot of uh, a lot of money per month. But keep in mind, a lot of that would go to taxes. Um, some provinces, if you make over a certain amount, sometimes half your money goes to taxes if you're up at a certain tax bracket. So you, that you could only be making, you might only be making $4,000 a month take home. All right, suppose you work at a restaurant and are paid $8 an hour and you work eight hour shifts twice a week. Eight hour shifts twice a week. On an average shift, so on one shift, your sales total $750 and you usually earn 15% of that in tips. So how much would you earn in a typical week? Now, a couple things we have to do here. She's working eight hours a day or you're working eight hours per shift and you work eight hour shift or $8 per hour. So eight times eight. Let's see what you make in one shift. Eight times eight is $64. So that's per shift. Now you do this twice a week. So you're gonna times it by two to see what uh, it is per week. 64 times two is 128. That's per week. Now your sales total $750 so on an average shift, you have $750 and you usually earn about 15% of that in tips. So $750. Now you're only earning 15%. So I'm only going to multiply this by 0.15, not 1.15, because you're only earning 15% of the 750. So 750 times 0.15 is $112.50. Now that's usually per shift, right? per shift. Now you do this twice a week. So I have to times that one by two because I do it twice a week. $225. Now I have that per week. So in addition to her $128 a week wage that she makes, she's also making, I don't know why I'm saying she, it's you. <laughs> it says suppose you. So you're also making $225 a week. On top of that, because your sales are um, quite a lot. So 
how much would you make in a typical week? You'd have $128, which is my regular wage, plus my tips, which are $225, plus my $128 is $353 per week total. Yeah, it's not too bad because you're only working twice a week, only eight hour shifts. So that could be, say, like on a weekend or something. How much would you earn a year? Okay, how many weeks in a year again? 52 weeks. Right? So we got to make sure we multiply this. So I have $353 per week times 52 weeks in a year is equal to 18,356. and that's per year. So if you only work twice a week, which isn't that bad, um, you work eight hours a day, which is your typical work day, then you're making $18,356 per year. All right, last example. Suppose you work at a sawmill doing weekend cleanup. You work from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. That's 12 hours. Your regular wage is $16.50, but you get paid a premium if you work between 11 p.m. and 8 a.m. Because it's in the night, right? It's very late at night. It's like my, my wife, when she goes to work at 7.30, and then she works until 7.30 in the next morning, somewhere around midnight, she could make her premium. Okay, so if you work between 11 p.m. and 8 a.m., this person does, or you do, you work from 11 p.m., yeah, that's included in there, to 6 a.m., so you don't quite work until 8. So how many hours of that would be your premium shift? So you have your regular pay, which is from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. So let's go, we got a couple things we need to figure out, and that's your regular wage. So regular pay is from 6 p.m. all the way to 11 p.m. So that's 6 to 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's 5 hours. 5 hours. So in 5 hours, you're making $16.50 per hour. So $16.50 times my 5 is $16.50 times 5 is $82.50. And that's how much you're making for your regular pay. Now let's look at your premium. The premium pay goes from 11 p.m. all the way up until 6 a.m. So that's 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 7 hours. If you count them out, 7 hours. So you're making 7 hours of premium pay. Now you get a $1.50 for premium pay which means you're getting $16.50 plus $1.50 for every hour, which is $17, $18, and that's per hour, and you're working seven hours. So here's your premium pay, which I calculated because you're getting an extra $1.50. You're working that $18 per hour for seven hours, so we multiply them, 18 times seven, which is 126, so you have your premium pay, and then you also have your regular pay. So you add these two together, you have $82.50 plus your $126 plus $82.50, which is $208.50. Okay, so that would be for one shift, because you're working 12 hours, 5 plus 7 is 12, and you're only working five hours of that at your regular pay, which is $16.50, and you're working seven hours of that at your premium pay. So you're working the night shift. That's why it's usually a, people want night shifts sometimes, because if they can do it, they can usually make a little bit more. Now, if you normally work only on Saturday and Sunday, so it's two days, two days, two shifts, what percent of your weekly schedule, so your weekly schedule would just be two days a week, that's it, just Saturday and Sunday, what percent of your weekly schedule is regular hours? Well, let's see here. 
How many hours would I work on Saturday and Sunday? Total hours for two shifts. Well, how much do I work per shift from 6, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., right? So that means I'm going to be working 12 hours per shift. So that's a total of 24 hours. Okay, my total is 24 hours that I'm working from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Come home and sleep, get up at say 4 p.m., eat some dinner or lunch or whatever, whatever you want to call it, and then go back to work at 6 p.m. and then to 7 or to 6 a.m. Now, total hours for two shifts are 24 hours. What percent of your weekly schedule are regular hours? So regular hours for two shifts are how many? Well, I'm making, oh, five hours, right, per shift. Five hours of regular pay per shift. So five hours per shift. That's a total of 10 hours. Now, why am I doing this? Because I want to figure out what the percentage is, what percent of your weekly schedule. So weekly schedule is just your two shifts. Um, it's going to be my regular divided by my total. Whenever you want to find percents of anything, anything, it doesn't matter what you're dealing with, you always want to divide by the total amount. I remember that to this day and it actually helps me a lot. You always want to divide by the total amount. So you have 10 out of 24. Another hint is that when you divide them, you always want to get a decimal answer and then convert that to a percent. So here I get 0 0.41666. So it would be move the decimal place 1, 2. So 41.67% of my pay is for regular. So I'm actually working more premium shifts than I am regular because my regular shifts only make up 41.67% of my um, total shift for the weekend for the two days. Okay, so there you have it. That's additional earnings. Um, whether you're making a bonus, whether you're making tips, allowances, or for your premium shifts. Um, if you get stuck, just review the video again and let me know if you have any questions.